Good evening. You're locked in to Dinner Television. Courtney Terrio here alongside Claire Hanna. The first day of December, uh, but it's also known by another day. Mayor Don Iverson declaring today Edmonton Eskimos Day. And you were down there, weren't you? It was so exciting. He thought the whole city came out. I think maybe 90% because, <laughs> well, there was a couple of us in studio working all day. Well, but it was, the energy was insane. It was great. You've got enough energy for like five people. So that's why it <laughs> sounded a little bit louder, of course. So we're going to be diving into that celebration. We had cameras down there. We will be bringing those highlights uh, in just a little bit. We'll also check in with Bridget Ryan at a very special remote for us tonight. But uh, speaking with special, We've got something very special coming at you right now here in the Dinner Television Studios. There you go. The great cop in the house, Nate Kilhorn and Matt O'Donnell, bringing us the goodness. Congratulations, you guys. So awesome to see you and how you Awesome. Studio. Congratulations, guys. And uh, of course, you know what? I think we're going to, we have to ask the obvious question off the hop is when that clock went zero, it went down from two, one, zero, and you guys had secured the title. What was going through you? What was it like to know you are Canadian football champions? It was pretty surreal. Like, um, it didn't really hit me yet. Even after the time hit zero, I don't know. It just, and then you see everybody celebrating, and then it's like, Wait a minute, we just won the Grey Cup, like, let's get crazy. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure what to do myself. Uh, like, I picked up Mike, just wanted to celebrate. I uh, went and saw my family as much as possible and just kind of soak in the moment. It, like Nate said, it still doesn't feel real yet. And Nate, we actually had you in on one of our very first ever dinner television programs. And I'm just curious, that was way back in May. Did you ever imagine you'd be coming home with the Grey Cup? Uh, I definitely imagined it, but, you know, there's a lot of work and stuff that uh, goes into it, the whole season and all that, but it's awesome to be bringing it back here now. Now, of course, you guys are two good Canadian boys taking home, <laughs> with all due respect to that hockey trophy, the most important trophy in Canadian sports. Is there maybe a little bit more something special because of that? Because you're Canadian? Uh, absolutely. You know, we grew up watching this game. Uh, as a BC boy, I grew up watching it. But I've, even as a kid, before I started playing professional sports, you know, I went to games in almost every stadium in Canada. So I've been living through the CFL a lot of my life. But, uh, you know, just having it here right now is it's just crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Nate, yourself? <clears throat> yeah, like, you know, growing up, you just, uh, it's like the main thing you watch. Obviously, everybody gets together for Grey Cup Sunday. You know, as a young guy growing up in a small town in Alberta, you never really think that you have a shot to you know be doing something like this and it's just a such a faraway dream and now that we achieve that it's just like i said it's surreal it has barely even hit me yet. i'm just standing right now beside the great <laughs> cup and you know we won it it's crazy yeah no is this like the uh stanley cup do you get to spend a day with it i don't think we know 100 percent yet but from <laughs> friends on friends on other teams and stuff like that they've said they've got to take it away for a couple days to their hometown but we're not sure what they're gonna let us okay do. well we're just gonna pretend on dinner television maybe people at the eskimos organization maybe lens watching this so i'm curious you get to spend a day what do you do with it nate good man um well the main thing i want to do with it right now is i got a baby due on friday this friday so oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a nice picture of the baby sitting right in the top of the cup. And my wife's actually here tonight, so I like, you know, I'd like to bring her up. And we Congratulations! Can... Hey. Oh. This is, this is basically the best possible week of your life, isn't it? Right now. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy year, um, and yeah, you know, we got a great cup uh, coming the same time that the baby's coming, so the same week. It's gonna be a crazy week. You must be pretty stoked that now you're going to have a very unique series of baby <laughs> pictures. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty yeah, awesome. That's awesome. And I guess, uh, what about you, Matt? Uh, well, you know, working for the Eskimos, they've taught me a lot about giving back to the community. So uh, I'll be taking this to the Children's Hospital, the Stollery here at University of Alberta, and making sure they get some. Woo! Woo! You guys are awesome. awesome. Stand up, guys. Phenomenal. Thank you so much. This is an absolute treat to have you guys in studio. The cup's not bad. Can I pick it up? Am I allowed to touch it? Uh, <laughs> Nate, take him through the. Take him through. You know how he's supposed to do it. It's there's a little. There's a special Courtney, way to do I it so you don't break it. You. Well, the bodyguard <laughs> said you're allowed to hold it. So most people think you know there's handles there, so you're supposed to grab it by that. But yeah. a lot of the weights down here. So one hand there, 
one hand there. I I'll, like the technique. I'll, yeah. So okay. You don't, don't want to break it. You don't want to break it like other there. teams. Okay. It gives you a good lift over your head. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I don't think dinner television has enough insurance <laughs> for this, but it's uh, it's pretty good. I like this. I could get used to this. You guys looking for uh, a water boy or something next year? Uh, there you have it. Awesome guys. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your much deserved prize. Uh, Matt O'Donnell, Nate Kuhorn, CFL Great Cup. Champions. Uh, we'll be back here in studio coming up in just a couple of minutes. Right now, though, we'll turn things over to uh, Bridget Ryan.